What's up guys, Supreme Smox here back again with another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys on how you can make a 7 days to die server on your Linux VPS so let's get started so using this trick uh, you'll be able to install a vanilla server or a modded server by the same trick so let's get started first of all you need to have pod installed on your computer to have that you need to go into this link so I'll put this link in the description of this video so do not worry about it so just click on download buddy and uh, choose whatever system you have so once it's downloaded and installed you need to also have FileZilla. So FileZilla will be needed if you want to upload uh, mods on your server. So if you don't want a modded server, you don't need to download FileZilla. But if you want a modded server on your computer, I mean uh, server, you need to have FileZilla installed. So just download FileZilla client and download the FileZilla. After it's done, you need to go into this link, Linux Game Server Manager. So what Linux Game Server Manager does, it, uh, it, it uh, simplifies the process of uh, creating a server. Uh, by only putting commands by copy pasting and you don't need to put commands and um, so using this trick it will be very helpful as linux game server manager also helps in updating a server by just little tricks and it it does everything automatically so you don't need to do anything by yourself so once you have done everything just uh, after you have party also install after you have the party what you need to do is open party up and put your ip of your server and just open the connection and once it's done you need to uh, log in as root or whatever username uh, you have been given by your hosting company and just put on the password if you have and i also i already logged in as a root user on my server so once it's done what you need to do is you need to check this if you want like the minimum uh, recommended distros are ubuntu debian and centos okay so let's go into dependencies and if you have ubuntu just uh, copy paste ubuntu one but I have Debian server, so I'm just gonna go copy Debian, and mine is Debian uh, 10, so we need to copy this. If you have Debian 11 or more than 11, just copy this one, okay? Just uh, copy and right click it, so it will paste it. So once it's done, just click on Y to continue. So once it's done, you need to go ahead and click install. So uh, what it does is it's uh, telling us to add a user on our server because uh, installing a server on your root user will, will be very harmful for your server as uh, attacks can happen on your server and it's not recommended to put game server as a root user. So it's telling us to put a user. Let's add a user and you can put a password by copying from here if you don't want to put a password it's okay but you can choose this password if you want or you can put your own password as a, as well so you don't need to put name if you want you can do that but i don't want to do that right now so change our user to seven days to die server and we are inside here and you copy this you can see how simply we are making a server so now we can install the uh, then this die server install and it will auto download the steam command files and the steam and the same this die files as well for you so you don't need to do anything by all so it's automatic process guys that's why the scheme server manager it's very easy process and it helps a lot So it's it's telling us to uh, select a directory, and I think the home synthesized server directory is okay for us, and we just need to continue, and it will take all the uh, directories and taking dependencies, and if we miss any dependency, as you can see, we are missing two dependencies right now. So we can what we can do is we can just copy this thing, a Control C, and get back and log out of here. Like uh, we need to go uh, to our root user and install this dependency right clicking and it will auto install it for us guys so if you miss this dependency you just need to go out log out and go into your uh, root directory and just install that okay if you miss any dependencies okay once it's done guys uh, we can go back to our seven days to die server okay okay super user seven is to die server and once we are back inside here we can install once more because the installation process was interrupted because we were missing some dependencies 
but in your thing it might not happen if it did you can just do whatever i did so you can see everything went green and the country required dependencies already installed on your our server so now it will install the game server on our uh host server so it might take some time depending on your hosting speed or your server speed or bandwidth data i don't know so till that time i think we need to pause the video and we'll be back once it is done. welcome back guys it's finally done so once it's done you'll see the installation is completed so it asked me if you if you really want to allow the user statistics to uh let's see game server manager you can choose what yes or no it's your choice so once it's done we can start the same type server start or we can just uh open filezilla and configure our server configuration file so let's do that thing and let me copy my server ip from here okay so open filezilla and uh you can put hostname here and choose root username put your password if you have any and the port will be 22 okay so as you can see we're inside our root user we need to go back and we can go inside home and uh, choose seven days to die server folder and uh, server files as you can see, this is the main directory of our 72 server. Uh, for mods to ins install, you need to make a directory here. So that will be MODS mods. So M will be capital and mods, okay? So just make a mods folder and go inside it. And uh, we can download mods from 72 or we can download mods from anywhere in the internet you can select. So as you can see, uh, to do the installation instruction, it's pretty easy you just need to drag and drop you don't need to do anything but this mod needs to install on the host and the client server as well so you need to have this on your computer and your server as well to work okay so this is not a server-sided mod this is a client and server-sided mod so uh, all this thing okay but uh, as you can see there are vehicle mods that that are server-sided let me it to you okay so as you can see i think this is the server sided vehicle mod so anyways uh let's install the beehives for right now but uh you can find a lot of uh, mods on the internet everywhere or you can even check on nexus mods for same design mods and download the mods from here or you can go on nexus mods and search for seven to die mods here like you can see here and uh, let's see the popular all-time mods uh, i think we need to download from nexus mods because uh, see which mods i think is the best okay let's download this one hud plus so it's basically does it it's just changes the ui of it. you can see it just changes the ui completely but the the important uh function you need to do is you need to have a uh, uh mm, EAC must be turned off. Easy anti cheat. The easy anti cheat should not be uh, uh, should not be there on your server for this to work. And you can see there are vehicle mods here. And it also needs to be installed on both server and clients, uh, as you can see. But let's install this this one. Okay, we need to be logged in to download files. Okay, let's not do that right now because I'm not gonna do that right now. So, let's download any mods from here right now. 
and uh, just put on the mods folder right now because it's just a tutorial guys you need to do by yourself on which mods to put uh, I don't know why it's taking a lot of time this okay so the speed I'm not getting enough but it's still okay okay once it's done you need to have a zip file you need to download a winrar so let's extract it here as you can see where it got extracted okay the desktop so you can see you can see the folder this is the main folder okay so what you can do is you can just drag and drop here and it's installed so you just need to put drag and drop on the mods folder that's it guys you don't need to do anything every mods will need to go on the mods folder okay every mods so it will upload it for you on the server just be patient you just need to be patient and uh, the server will do everything the file dealer will do all the work for you you just need to do anything you just need to sit and wait It's about to be finished let's go back until it's done you can just do whatever you want and uh, you can choose a server configuration file from here just download it and just edit it and uh, we upload it okay once you have here let's edit it you can edit using notepad so you can choose the server names you want uh, the description of the server as you do so and server set URL if you have any and server password if you want to put any password and you can choose the reach is the region so I put just leave it as default you don't need to do anything and uh, just don't do anything and if you want to change the server slots you can choose change this one and I think the maximum slot you can do is 24 at the moment I don't know I, I might be wrong I don't know guys you just take on the internet so uh, this you can uh, enable the ESC or disable ESC from here but if, you, if your mod needs uh, your easy energy to be off you need to have this turned off to for that mod to work so you can change the game world and if you want the random uh, world generation you can choose uh, R double Z and choose the seed and walls inside and it, uh, it will generate the world size for you guys and uh, you can change the difficulty you can change everything from here like uh, like zombie speed um, the night lane the, the 24 hour time everything everything guys okay so this is needed and uh, once it's done this car just this one this is server config this one okay i need to edit this one once well, it's edited just upload it back to the server and start the server like uh saving this to die server start and the server will start it will generate the world uh, and uh, it says that uh, welcome back guys I think we it's, it's showing that we have some uh, uh, file ownership issue right now because we have uploaded the uh, chicken cups mods on here so for this you need to go back to your root user and just copy paste this command okay and enter it and it will fix everything it for you guys and we just need to change back our server to seven days to die and we can start the server right now so as you can see the server is now being started and the server will generate the world if you have chosen random world generation and it will just do everything for you guys and uh, as you can see the server is now starting if you want to check console you can do uh okay the signing seems to see seven days to die server console Okay, once it's done, it will say it is saying that uh, please control, please press Control B to exit console. Okay, from control Control C will exit the server. This you need to click Control and B, and then D. You can see the server is now starting. As you can see, the, all the files are starting. So just put Control B D. Okay, Control B and D to get out of this console. And now the server is now starting, guys, and you can just log into the server and play the game by yourself as a modded server. Okay, guys. So thank you for watching the video guys i hope you guys like this video and if you have any problems regarding the server please comment down below on this uh, on the 
on the video so i'll be putting the affiliate link of our chat posting and uh, using my code you'll get about 20 percent discount on your server please check out chat posting guys because they provide very good servers for the price and i think uh, if you don't want the linux thing you just can get the game server and you don't need to do anything at all and it will just have everything but uh, for a powerful system i think root server will be better but game server is also of course good as you can see they they, serve, they provide a lot of a lot of game servers and you can see 70 is is also here you can choose oxide mode if you want the modded server vanilla for vanilla thing and as you can see there are a lot of uh, locations you can choose uh, just choose your location and um, just go go bottom until you see the game slot just choose any higher slot if you want like uh, the base ram starts from 6 gb and i think it's enough i guess for the server but uh, let's choose 20 slots and if you want to boost your memory for the server to work smoothly you can just choose, choose that let's choose 2 gb ram extra ram and uh, you can just pay using paypal uh, anything at all and like as you can see it will cost us about 21 euros per month and i think it's very good price for it as we are getting 8 gb ram and uh, 20 slots server and uh, by using my code you'll get 20 percent discount so i'll put the code of code and the link to uh, download i mean uh, purchase the server so please use my link to purchase it as it will help me as an affiliate of this server uh, chat hosting and uh, consider buying from them because they provide really good servers for the price and the performance are really good as well and the support team is fantastic if you have any problems you can just contact the support and they will be able to help and so and uh, fix your issues so thank you for watching the video guys i hope you guys like the video it's benchmarks here signing out